Hey everyone. So, uh, the other day, I went to a store with my friend, and, uh, turns out, they were selling, what sword? JoJo's. <laughs> so I found a couple of them, and, uh, I wanted to do a little review, because, you know, I like, uh, to review different yogas that I can find, you know, locally, and cheaper, and whatever. Even if they play like shit, I, I like to see if they do or not, you know? So, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, I found it at a dollar, dollar plus or something. And I found three yo-yos there. So, in this video, I'm going to do those three yo-yos in review consecutively. So, the first yo-yo that I have is the Super Action Yo-Yo. Now, this thing... I think Dylan reviewed one like this from the Dollar Tree or something. Um, not entirely certain, but uh, let's open her up. So, like, it feels like a little more solid than the one Dylan reviewed, actually. Because, like, the one he was doing was bending like crazy. Seems to come with a polyester string. And it looks like a fixed axle, like a metal fixed axle. It's double looped, so I guess I could try it like that. Generally, I don't double loop my yo-yos. Let's test it. feels like really weird to throw actually. You'd think like with the shape it'd be it's like pretty classic imperial shape. But it feels like shit. Yeah. Yeah, like really awful. <laughs> this is worse than a wooden yo yo. Can I even do anything on it? string is shit. Either that or it's just the yo-yo that's shit, but the string feels like shit too. I can't even do that. Well, it seems I have to wind this one up because it doesn't seem to want to work otherwise. So, um, yeah, I can throw it down. It doesn't seem to sleep at all. And it forward tosses like shit. Which usually, I can find a way to throw with any yo-yo. This thing feels so wonky. If it's a string tension or what, but this thing feels awful. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of tension in this string. Of course, I can't inside loop it if I can't fucking wind it. I think it'll glow in the black light, and that might be its only quality. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish this would have looped better, because then I would have gotten a pair, because I don't mind thick axle looping areas. Like, I loop with the wooden ones. I want to be able to loop with this, but it feels so, like, dense and weird. Like, the distribution is, is awful. Let's see. Maybe if I... Slip knot it. And put it on the tip of my finger. We'll see. I 
Oh, I got it. I sort of I shoot the moon. Yeah, the, the weight distribution is so fucked on this thing. But yeah, I kind of had a feeling based on Dylan's review, I, I, I felt it was like the same yo-yo. But I felt like reviewing it myself, just in case, you know. It was just his version because it's like Dollarama yo-yos seem to be very inconsistent when it comes to the cheaper end ones. I can sort of. Maybe I gotta break the yo-yo in. <laughs> If it didn't play so weirdly, it would actually be pretty awesome because that's a pretty solid plastic. I think it's polycarbonate. Not twists apart or nothing. That's actually really weird. It's like a cap is on the inner part of the yo-yo. Does that mean I could take the other side off too? That's interesting. I feel like this would play like a real yo-yo if you just took the two halves and made them like this. Because the distribution looks more accurate for that. Like drill a hole in the side and then put a hex nut screw or something. I'm going to actually try that. Look for more videos in the future of mods with this thing. I'm going to have to groove a recess into it. For some flowable silicone. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm taking this whole thing apart. Maybe I should try yo-yoing with just the inner disc part. See how that works. But yeah, I feel like this would be more oriented towards a wing-shaped design than it would be for a looping design. I... I'm not saying I know much about yo-yo designs, but I've played enough yo-yos to guesstimate, I guess. I'm curious, though. I want to try doing this. Because <laughs> it does have a starburst system on it, so. And that'll probably be, like, really light. Oh yeah, see? It works all of a sudden so much better. <laughs> That's so funny. Like... It's so light, but at least it doesn't feel wonky anymore. gonna be my new pocket throw EDC everybody pocket throw the inner parts of a dollar rammer yo-yo <laughs> it's so funny yeah it seems to do so much better it may be a shorter string on it now given its size
But yeah, it plays way better like this. So moral of this story is don't get these yo-yos unless you want to like play around modifying it or something. So next up, we have this yo-yo. It's called the Fun and Games Light Up Yo-Yo. Which the reason uh, I got them because I, I bought every yo-yo, like one of every yo-yo that they had there. Just because, you know, that's me. And um, it kind of looked like the yo-yo I used to have when I was a kid. So I decided to pick one up. Feels a little crappier than the one I had when I was a kid. Has a very uh, flimsy. It's a clutch system. And honestly, it feels worse than the other clutches I'm using. <laughs> like the ones I'm selling anyway. This thing looks like it, but apparently lights up. So, let me check that out. Lights up one side of the yo-yo. So I always find that shitty. It's like, you can't develop a light up system that would be light enough for both, like, sides. Yeah, you can't do no string tricks on it. Let's see how well it can sleep. It's not innately horrible. Sounds like shit. Feels like shit. But I guess, like, if you're getting it for a kid to learn on, well, I guess the LED gets stuck, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of shitty. But, uh, yeah, you just want to get something for a, a kid to play around with that you're not going to worry about it breaking. Go ahead. It's like a doll or something or whatever. Oh, cool. The light went out. <laughs> so, uh, we'll pass off on that one plays like a shitty clutch system anyways this one though i was very very curious about and it's called uh lightning storm competition yo-yo and i'm like competition yo-yo at a dollar store uh-huh let me try that out competition yo-yo so let's see what they got in here got hub stacks honestly I have played this already that's why it's got a zipline string on it <laughs> but uh, yeah competition isn't the right word though it does come with things I've never seen in like a store-bought yo-yo you get the finger slip finger protection thing and it has a little vial of responsive lubricant which I found really, really awesome to discover. I'm actually gonna put this on my finger because I've sliced open my finger with my yo-yo string. It's it's quite pleasant. <laughs> Not really. I think it's more oriented towards a child because it's tight as frick. So yeah, I'm gonna put that over my cut because I can. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how this thing plays. It's a Starburst response, like the removable ones, like the shitty ones you get online, but it has more weight to it than I expected it to. And it lights up. Like the lights don't last through the spin and the string catches on the hub stacks because the hub stacks stick outside the the walls of like the, the rim of the yo-yo. They pop up. So when you're playing, the string catches on that 
And then it's not so fun. I guess it's good for like different styles of other tricks. And I feel like like it's it's pretty capable for uh yo yo I found at a dollar store. Very snaggy though, the response, because uh, responsive, right? I've been getting too used to my unresponses lately. Because I do like playing responsive, it's just when you play unresponsive, you have a lot more leniencies that you can get away with than when you play responsive, which is why it's good for any yo-yo or any serious yo-yo -er to practice responsive play because it'll get you better at unresponsive play. Stability kind of sucks, but it is also very narrow and has LEDs in it, so, oh. There is a reminder for Yo-Yo Lord. I guess that's a reminder. You need to tell me some shit. So, out of these three yo-yos, I'm pretty sure, like, with that little lob, and given that this is a flat side, you could probably, like, spin top that shit. I'm not going to do that, but anyways, they have, like, different designs, like, with the star and everything. They have, like, triangular things or in different patterns. But uh, out of these three yo-yos from the dollar plus, or whatever the hell it's called, I would recommend this one, because all the others sucked. Well, the clutch system, I guess, is good if you don't care about them learning, but th or hurting themselves. Yeah, this one, they might injure themselves with, but I still think this is the best performing one out of them all. It's quite fun. So like I said, I like things that underperform. So I'll be playing with this a little more late, later. But I found it really cool that they give like responsive lubricant in there. Anyways, it's my conclusion for dollar plus yo-yos. Go for this uh, lightning, lightning storm. It's far from being a competition-oriented yo-yo, given the competitions of today's society. But I think back in the days, like when like yo-yos like were all starburst responsiveness and stuff, it probably was a competition yo-yo that lit up, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, the other ones, like like I said, this one, it, it's all taken apart now, and this is what's left of it that actually functions. So don't get this one. It's a piece of shit, and uh, don't get, well, you can get this one, but I wouldn't, I, I'd go for this one if you're going to go for any one of them at the store. This is the best one I've found at a store yet. Like, the Yopro is pretty good, but this one lights up, and... Performs most of the same tricks, and it's wing shaped, so you have a better catch zone and stuff.
So, anyways, that's the conclusion of today's video, and, uh, till next time.